Uh, if you can see the goal is. Uh, if you can see the goal, it's always disappointed, but uh, the game Granada had nothing to do with this game. Uh, I think we played very well the first half and we had to show the very good reaction. But, uh, we showed a very good reaction after the 1-0 and uh, they kept the belief in what they did. Yes, they, they, so the, the, the first goal has nothing to do with Granada. Uh, they showed a big uh, character today after the uh, reaction after the 1-0. And uh, I think in the end they, we, de we deserve this win. Por par, Marta Ramón, Raku. Well, was it that difficult to control the situation because they were suffering and they were in a situation in which they were playing for the lot for the for the league? So why was it that difficult? No, of course, if you play in Valencia, it's a difficult game. But I think, uh, again, we first off, we dominate the, the game. And after the 1-0, of course, it was difficult. But I think the, the boys did very well. And uh, yeah, they showed a very good character, uh, character, uh, character after the 1-0. The and that's important. Jugar contra Valencia es un equipo difícil. Así que, bueno, pues, después del 1-0... Ha sido difícil, pero han conseguido dominar, los chicos lo han hecho muy bien y han hecho un buen trabajo con un buen carácter. Tor para Adrián Betz, Cadena Ser. Hola, Alfred. Buenas noches. Adrián Betz, en directo para Carrusel Deportivo y Mugux de Ser Cataluña. Da la sensación de que en este tramo ya decisivo de la temporada ninguno de los equipos de la parte alta de la clasificación que están peleando por la Liga se muestra 100% fiables. Yo no sé si usted cree que por este motivo todos los equipos de arriba ahora mismo tienen las mismas opciones de ser campeones, que puede pasar cualquier cosa. Um, Yeah, it, it will be very close. I think uh, that's uh, also what we hoped, of course, in in the in the end of in like in uh, January that it will be very close. But we are there. We we don't have to look at uh, other teams. We look at ourselves. But uh, I think you're right that uh, it is close. And uh, uh, sometimes we lose a point. Sometimes Atletico, or sometimes Madrid, in uh, Real or Valencia or uh, Sevilla. But um, I think it will not uh, be final game uh, next uh, next week. Uh, the game is, we have still four games to go. Eh, al final de, de enero están muy cerca, están ahí. Eh, no no miramos a otros equipos. Nosotros nos miramos a nosotros mismos. A veces perdemos puntos contra otros equipos. Habéis escuchado que han mencionado otros equipos, eh, pero no consideramos que, que el siguiente partido sea final. Todavía quedan partidos. Tor para Elena Condis, Cadena Cope. Yeah, of course. I think uh, everybody in Barcelona trust that trust your your players, and we trust our players, and that's what they showed today again. And if you if you look from uh, how far the distance was from the beginning. Uh, like in uh, in January, the distance to Atletico it was uh, uh, was was very far, and they uh, had a very good. Um, uh, uh, we had a very good month the last three months, and uh, that was important to be there where we are now. And uh, yeah, if we win next week, we are above them. <laughs> Por para Alfredo Martínez, Onda Cero. Buenas noches, Víctor Alfredo Martínez para el asesor de Onda Cero. Viendo que ganó el Madrid, viendo que ganó el Atlético de Madrid, ustedes han ganado un campo difícil como el Valencia, 
da más rabia todavía la derrota ante el Granada. ¿Cree que les puede empezar a tirar de la liga esos tres puntos perdidos en Granada ante el Granada? Gracias. Sí, Yeah, but we don't have to look back. Everything was passed in the past. You cannot change that. We have to look forward, and we have to look forward to Atletico now. And that's what we do. Uh, you cannot change the game in Granada, but uh, we are, I think we have a lot of in our own hand, hands. Tor para Laura Brugués, TV3. Buenas noches, Albert. La semana que viene, el Atlético de Madrid juega al Camp Nou. ¿Cómo afrontan a qué partido y si creen que alguien puede salir al campeón de la Liga? It's it's an important game, uh, but we have also other teams. They play uh, the day after uh, for the same position as us, and uh, we have to look uh, at game to game. And of course, we know that it's a very important game, Atletico. Y faremos la última pregunta a Tony Juan Martí, Diario Sport. Hola, buenas noches. Alfred, yo quería preguntarte, viendo que el Barça ha encajado nueve goles en las últimas cinco jornadas, si creen que será suficiente con este nivel defensivo para superar al Atlético de Madrid, o sin embargo, durante toda la semana tendrá que incidir en el aspecto defensivo para poder derrotar a los de Simeón. Uh, I would like to ask you that uh, Rivaldi in Barcelona has been uh, being scored some goals recently. Uh, if it is off, would you have now to defeat uh, the people in Madrid or do you need to push a bit in the defensive? Yeah, okay. Of course, uh, like today, I think there were one or two uh, co uh, counter chances from uh, uh, Valencia, but okay, I think the second goal is difficult to defend. It's a great goal. And the first goal was was a corner, and I think uh, we get a little bit blocked by uh, Mark Ter Stegen. But of course, you're right. Against Granada, we defend, de we did not defend uh, well in the two three moments, and that cost you then uh, the game. And uh, we talked about that with the players, and it's very important to defend strong and concentration in the defending because uh, I think with the ball, normally we can control the game, but in defending it's very important uh, yeah, to be that uh, to do that. Also, 90 minutes very good. Por supuesto, eh, eh, la, el, el segundo gol ha sido un gol muy difícil de defender. El primer gol ha sido de corner y estaban un poco bloqueados. Eh, pero contra Granada es cierto que no defendemos bien, hablamos con los jugadores y es importante defender durante los 90 minutos hacer una buena defensa durante los 90 minutos. Muy bien, gracias Bea, gracias Alfred, muy buena noche. Gracias.